beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed hallelujah Believe me, you have mastered the art of living if you sustain a technology in the spirit to generate peace regardless of situations and circumstances. At that point, you are guaranteed to live long. Everyone say peace. One of the greatest blessings that Jesus brings to us is peace. Not just salvation, but peace. You can have all the money in the world and with it will come multiply troubles there are people who were more peaceful poor than they are now millionaires but cannot sleep are we together now have you not read what solomon said he said here the conclusion of the matter he said of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul he said but this is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commandments then he says this is the whole duty of man it's too much in this life to disturb your peace every 24 hour in your life is full of enough trouble to jeopardize your life you don't have to be a bad person the world we live in from the person who greets you in the morning to the one you quarrel with before sleeping there are so many people who cannot sleep. You ask them why. They say, Kai, well, I'm, I'm a lenient person, Abi. They are treating me too much in this life. This is what they are thinking about. There are ideologies that have robbed us of the peace of God. The Bible says that peace surpasses all understanding. It's not scientific. You don't calculate it. It's part of the true representations of a spiritual man. A spiritual man has sustained a system in the spirit to be peaceful. A state of rest. Kai, the way people worry, the way people depress themselves is a dangerous thing. God gave me this word that in this season, it's important for us to come once again into this covenant of peace. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Nothing that is an emergency enough to rob you of that joy and that restfulness that comes in knowing who Christ is. Hallelujah. Our world is full of worry. Everybody say worry. Jesus dedicated a whole chapter, Matthew chapter 6, talking about worry. The Bible says, do not worry. Listen, do you know why people lose their peace? what to eat what to wear are we together and all the mundane cares of life from marriage to children to money 
to lack of it to too much of it to human beings there's too much to rob us of our peace husbands have lost relationships with their wives because of the cares of this world lack of peace many homes today have become habitations of worry and stress the tension that you see in the life of people is too much but there is a system there is a technology in the spirit that can keep a man restful may that be your experience listen i'm telling you if you are not a man and a woman of peace you are not walking in the experience of the kingdom it has nothing to do with whether you have money in your pocket or not many of us have tied our peace to naira and kobo so when you check and you find hundred thousand when pastor femi gave the testimony of the millions coming i saw the relief it's not your money but just the the fact that money is available gave a lot of us that sigh of relief and i felt very disappointed if you allow money to define your peace or otherwise you make yourself a slave to satan how many people smile only at the end of the month have you seen the way people are happy when they are slotting their atm even if there's nothing just the consciousness that i'm around money it's a very demonic thing listen listen this is the last teaching for the year it's a very demonic way to live you cannot tie your peace to anything in time because it will kill you fast your peace must be tied to a person not things your peace must be tied to a person his name is jesus oh i like job come on the bible tells us that job when everything whether he had it or not of course he was human but the bible lets us know that job the, the bible says he sinned not with his mouth When you check your CGPA and you see that everything works out fine, then you have peace. Look, look at how worry is killing so many people. It's one of Satan's greatest arsenal in our day. Worry, anxiety, depression. Hear what Jesus said. John 14. John 14. Are you getting blessed tonight? John 14. Verse 27. John 14, 27. Can we read it? One, two, read. Not a bank account. Listen. Peace. I live with you. So that you are not confused not peace that comes from money he said my peace there is a type that god gives there is a type that the world gives the peace you get when you receive salary the peace you get when your insecurities are gone people consult witches and wizards today because of lack of confidence in god insecurity has depressed men insecurity causes lack of peace he said my peace i give to you it says not as the world give it that means there is a kind of peace you get in this world peace that is tied to things are we together now and so there's depression everywhere you come and you find out that there's no light oh never eh? and you are angry and the devil says that's right I have found out that circumstances can control the peace gauge of this person. And somebody just annoys you. You receive a very, very nasty text from somebody. And while you are meditating upon it, you hear that, ah, mama is sick at home. And you sit down and say, Kai, what is this life about? And Satan says, this is it. This is exactly the state I want. Because every time righteousness, peace, and joy cohabit, the kingdom must find expression there. And so Satan knows that every time I can take one of these factors away, it's impossible for that person to experience the kingdom. Do you not know that with all your depression, five minutes without your breath, and there's nothing to talk about again. Truly, human beings are really foolish. The word of God gives us wisdom. 
you find out the way we depress ourselves over several things i once met a gentleman and i saw him so worried i said why he said at my age my father had a car hi and so And so I told him, I said, so what does that mean? He said, can you imagine? Ah, I can't make it myself a slave like that. Even if I'm going to think, let me think of something noble. Constructed metals stopping you from sleeping in the night. Is that not idolatry? Are we together now? Think of the things that depress us brothers and sisters and you find out that at the root of them do you know that most of the things that are free in life they are the most important things the things that God knows that money cannot buy he gave you freely the air you breathe the blessings of relationships the gift of salvation most of the things we depress ourselves about, the truth is we can live without them. We have chosen based on an ideology to pressure ourselves. Look at the lovely sister that came to share about her phone getting bad. How many people will not sleep today if arm robbers take, well, not arm, arm robbers don't steal phone. I'm, that a thief, anybody just carries your phone. This gets missing. And you see them moving around. Where is my phone? They wake up by two. They wake up by three. They go to Zaria City. I must find out who did this. Peace. Jesus said, My peace, I live with you, Koinonia. Not as the world gives. You frustrate Satan when you have found a system that does not disrupt your peace. You have found a system that maintains your rest. Hallelujah. When Satan sees that nothing in time can affect this state of restfulness, we hate because we do not have the peace of God. We depress ourselves. We are sick. Sick and sick and sick. People going to the hospital, the doctors cannot find anything because they are depressing themselves. You, you are so depressed, you fall down and not even know you're falling down. Somebody says, stand up and you say, you mean I fell down? What were you thinking about? At what age? I refuse to allow anything in time. It's a choice. I reject it. I refuse to allow anything in time corrupt that restful state it's a state i've found that is only possible in christ a state of rest you will never know this peace if you are outside of christ there is a revelation that brings you to this peace let me tell you what that revelation is if god does not open a door it cannot be opened ah. and if god opens that door it cannot be closed i have learned by experience that worry does not solve anything it only complicates your life and your problems how many ladies you see them 25 depressed why husband what is that you are so passionate and depressed over your husband the day he comes you are even annoyed that he has come do you know there is a way you can worry over but it does not bless you even when it comes the worry is too much even the miracle you no longer celebrate it jesus said my peace i live with you give it to us again media my peace john 14 27 my peace there is a kind that he gives It says, not as the world gives. Let not your heart be what? What is the opposite of peace? A troubled heart. He said, let not your heart. In other words, permit it not. Choose to refuse your heart from being troubled. He said, neither let it be afraid. These are the things that choke the peace of God. Fear. Fear. 
the fear of the future how many young people are afraid of the future what will my life become you are afraid of getting admission you are now afraid of graduating you are afraid of getting a job you are afraid of not getting one ah he leads me and guides me to the city of Papa. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city of Papa. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Anxiety is something that is, is okay with the natural man. It's part of our build up as natural men. The Bible says be anxious for nothing. Anxiety. Right? Anxiety. Anxiety has depressed people. It is that lack of peace. Anxiousness. Anxious about everything. Oh, I want to know what tomorrow holds. I want to know what this holds. And we, we go into all kinds of ungodly strategies. Because we are afraid. How many parents have gone to make sacrifices for their children? Tell me what the future of my child will be. Will he be great? Will he not be great? Tell me this and they say, okay, go and bring a cow. Go and bring a ram. I want to know. I'm afraid. Let me know. if. Tell me if I will live up to 10 years. Abba. there is a state of restfulness that when you wake up in the morning you give him all the praise and you say thank you Lord for peace you hear a news that is depressing and you say Lord in all things I cannot explain what has happened but Lord I thank you I, I may not know the details but one thing I know is that you are faithful you are faithful for the things you've done for me for the life you've given you draw me close to you there's too much anxiety in our world we are afraid we are insecure right we are troubled over nothing what students when result is about to come out something that will be pasted and you will know anxiety makes people to be roaming around they see a lecture and they are good afternoon sir did i pass just be patient something that in the next 10 minutes will be pasted there and will be left there anxiety do you know anxiety can preempt you and open up seasons that was not supposed to be open anxiety can make you do things you can go ahead of your destiny to your detriment of God that surpasses all understanding and people look at you if you are a man of peace you must be strange because people look at you and say ah is it not you they said your father died and you say well I cried but to him be all the glory you say no 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 let's go and find out we must trace the root of this and you say God is faithful ah. you are rejoicing and they tell you one million naira has entered your account you say I rejoice but it doesn't make any difference I am still restful and God says so the one million you say well I'm happy it doesn't change anything and the devil says where in the world do I get this person how come you have a constant state of rest regardless of what happens you are in a relationship with a guy you are happy planning your wedding and he looks and says I'm not doing it and while you cry he says Lord you are faithful I may not have him but I have you give me you
everything else can wait give me you i hope i'm not too late lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you listen many of us do not know the value and the, the treasure of having jesus christ i know we we profess it we claim we know but the truth is it's not in our lives the our our unrestfulness shows jesus there is something that is higher than him in our life listen if i give you one million sam right let me use money so that we understand if i give you one million sam and you see five naira falling on the ground will you leave the one million to pick it if you leave the one million to pick it what does that mean it's impossible for you to say i value this that's what that's what is responsible for the turbulence in our lives you have the greatest gift and you throw him away and you are looking at other things that are mundane because in your mind although we claim through our songs that he is everything but the truth of the matter is that our passion and obsession about things of a lesser value show that they are out they are truly the gods in our life when a man has jesus christ listen please hear me i know we live in a society that thinks what i'm saying is old school when a man has the christ and the revelation of the operation of the kingdom you have the greatest gift in your life brothers and sisters whether in plenty or in little you are a man of peace how many gentlemen are about to be bad fathers because their joy and their peace is tied to things around the moment the man is promoted everybody receives the joy the moment he fights with somebody in the office everybody is going to receive a share of that anger that's a bad life i don't have enemies in my life believe me I cannot hate a man I know this sounds arrogant it's not the natural Joshua Selman have I'm human but I cannot that quality is no longer in me the light of God has consumed me I found a key love never fails when was the last time they taught you this when they were teaching you on an antidote against failure did they ever teach you that love never what does never mean there is no possibility hmm love so i live a very restful life if i go back and i find my place burned to ashes i will look at it and say wow the only pain is i'll say i did not carry my books where i write the visions in my life but in five minutes i'm rejoicing satan has lost the art of wearing me i i humiliate him with my peace Are we together? I can sit down with a cup of gari and rejoice the same way I will sit down with Turkey. I can sit down in a five-star hotel and rejoice the same way I will sit down in a mat. If that is not your case, you are already in deception. The devil is about to hack your life into pieces. I will never... No, 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 no. Whether I'm, what, I'm wearing a watch of 100,000, or wearing a rubber watch of 50 naira it does not make any difference as far as peace is concerned are we together whether you are wearing a shirt of 1 million or you are wearing a shirt of 10 naira it doesn't make any difference never allow the things around you to define your state of rest you are not a christian you are not a true christian i'm telling you this when that happens i have found life i have found peace i'm not teaching you to be irresponsible but i am telling you you must start living when you learn to be peaceful that nothing in time can disrupt that restfulness whether in tears or in joy whether in plenty or in little you have learned to maintain a spiritual equilibrium there is a 
there is a, a spiritual buffer. Nothing will take you out of that state. You are a true spiritual man. Some of us are probably seated right now, depressed. I want to travel tomorrow. God knows I need 2,000. What I have is 500. Because of one five, you will not sleep. And your not sleeping will not bring it. You see the trouble? Worry was never designed to bring solutions. It was designed to depress you. If I don't trust myself, why can't I trust you? If you don't trust yourself, trust God. my peace i move up brothers and sisters i am amazed every 24 hours i watch people and i am shocked as they are at their ideology why do people think this way why can't they be peaceful why won't you choose to be peaceful listen some of you look at you are not even so old but look look at the way your life is depressed worry and anger and hatred always cynical always on the negative side talking about everything that is not working in your life and the life of people why don't you change what you see why don't you change what you see I don't see negative things all I see is the faithfulness of God in my life all I see is the mercy of God he is the goodness of God in my life God has been good to me if he never blesses me in this life he does not owe me anything I owe him my life and eternity that's how to live that's how to you kept 10,000 naira, I got missing. You are crying. You are yelling. You are quoting scripture. The prayers you would not have prayed to bring you into intimacy. You pray for two hours and you start checking. Oh God, your word said, even God who called the dead and called the things that be not as though they were. Lord, me, I'm saying this thing is my own. It must come. I'm telling you, it's not the prayer of faith. It's the prayer of selfishness and idolatry. The greatest gift I have in my life, listen, is not the anointing. The greatest gift I have in my life is not money. The greatest gift I have in my life is not people. The greatest gift I have in my life is the presence of Jesus. Ah, in life and in death. The worst that can happen to me is that I will die. You will cry for seven days and say, ah, he taught us about long life. It doesn't matter. I'm God. <laughs> And at the end of it, there is peace. Many of us are already on our way to produce bad families because of depression. What is wrong? No money. How can I be happy? Are you not seeing what is happening in Nigeria? Buhari's government is this and that and that. How is it providing for your needs? Have you not read, my God shall supply? leave that one jerry we are talking about real issues now you are not a christian a true believer listen a true believer is one who has staked his life on god's word i believe the word of god to death to death to death i believe the word of god my life revolves around it i will never allow anything in this life to depress me it does not have that ability If I'm told today that any of my loved one is dead, God forbid, I will cry. But in it, I will get up. And the only song that will come out of my lips is the song of his faithfulness. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. We are saying faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Listen, create a limit 
for the effect of the things in this life as far as your relationship with God is concerned. The presence of Jesus is more than gold. It's more than a billion dollars. The presence of Jesus is more than koinonia. It's more, I will give up koinonia 1,000 times for the presence of Jesus. I will give up anything and I mean it in this life. No. I will give, give aside every accomplishment and everything for the presence of Jesus. That's the gift I have. I, you hear people say, ah, my reputation is at stake. I don't even have one. Ah, I don't have one. I'm telling you, my reputation is his reputation. I'm too young to kill myself with that kind of ideology. I have no reputation of my own. Help me, sir. Thank you. I want you to get a revelation tonight, inside and outside. As we wrap up this year, make a choice that for the rest of my God-given life, I choose peace. I choice. No matter what happens in my life, I made that choice. I choose to be happy. People see you and say you are always laughing. Then they come to your house and find out that the only thing there is water. There's no gari. And they say, so why are you laughing? What's the laughter for? The laughter is because you have come into oneness with one who is greater than anything that can come. See, let me tell you, please, please. Lose the, the affection you have for things. You hear me say this all the time. You must get to a point in your life, Koinonia, where nothing in time has the ability to steal away the presence of Jesus. When John, or no, not John now, when Peter was about to die, they were about to kill the body. Right? They put him on a cross and he said, no, they cannot crucify me the same way they crucified my Savior. Look at a man. He said, turn me upside down. I am not worthy to be crucified that way. What did these people know? That in the midst of their depression, Paul will write a letter encouraging people and Paul will say, I'm in chains. In chains. A man in chains telling people, count it all joy, my brethren when you go through diverse temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith work at patience in chains you are not in chains yet we are depressed please i want you to i want you to weary satan with your passion for jesus christ weary satan with your passion for the things of god oh i wanted to give you ten thousand I no longer will give you say to god be the glory and they say what kind of person are you is it that you don't get angry you have sustained a system for as long as god is alive i remain peaceful my depression will start the day someone can dethrone him and then at that point i know that my life is no longer secure listen the oldest man on earth today is not up to 120 years so what is the vanity? Are we together? The vanity in this life that makes us to get up. You are pursuing car. You are pursuing jeep. You are pursuing this. You are pursuing that. Oh, they said in the village, I'm not successful. Let me prove to them. Who cares? Are they successful? They in the village, are they successful? They said they don't marry fast in our family. That's their cup of tea, frankly speaking. See, learn, learn to, learn to ignore Satan. It's one way to conquer him. Ignore his proposals and you will step into a state of rest. Someone looks and says, have you gotten the admission? Say, why now? Ah, say, God is faithful. I know that he makes all things beautiful in his time. They say, oh, forget that, you know, you are disappointing us and you, you leave them away. 
and when you go the devil will say think on these things and you say no the bible says finally brethren whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are noble if there be a good report if there be any praise he said think on these things this unemployment why are we like this and then you turn to your friend and say why are we suffering like this the friends are tired of national nigeria they know you are, you are thinking like a non-Christian. The peace of God. See, let me tell you what will happen if you are living in peace. Men must hate you. Because, you see, there is a popular saying that misery likes company. When people are frustrated, they try to look for those who are like them. So that they can form a team. We, the committee of humiliated people. And the moment you refuse it, they interpret it as pride. What are you saying? Are you not older than us? At least me, I'm 28. You, you are 32. You are not depressed. You are not joining us in this. Thing. I'm, I'm not joining. I'm not a party to all of this. Five years after graduating, no job. You won't come. Let's discuss this thing. Say, no, I'm not a party to all of this. Are you willing to be that different? To ignore the mockery and maintain the peace of the kingdom? There's too much depression in our world. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. The person who is depressed, humanly speaking, does not even have any guarantee whether he will wake up the next day. Yet he's thinking. People have accidents under the... Me, thank you. Depression makes them to begin to hallucinate. They think the road is this way, whereas it's this way. They go and bash into a tree and die. See, I, I thought I saw the bend this way. Frustration. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. I remember a man whose car had accident. When he came and saw the car burning, he fell down there and died. If that guy gets to heaven and I'm Jesus, this is the first thing I'm going to do. I'll say, what brought you here? And he said, I died. I said, of what? He said, car. I would say, go back. He must go back. For that, you must win at least a thousand souls. <laughs> oh, no, come on. You don't die and enter the gates of heaven. If I'm Jesus, you must go back and win souls. One by one, not general. One by one. You die because your car caught fire they stole your cloth from january you are still remembering it now see listen do you let me tell you something anything you hold on to you are telling god this is the limit of my life don't ever lift me beyond this limit because at this point this has become my god love him you never hear me pray all those nonsense prayers oh god why me why all of these things why eh? oh god won't you won't you no 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 i'm a lover of your presence i'm a lover of your presence i'm a lover of your presence jesus i'm a lover of your presence refuse to get hot stop this anxiety and this rage right have you seen friends do this i, I believe you don't do it um christians should not do that but there are friends that do that um they deliberately look for trouble they keep saying things and instigating anger and then they laugh 
there are people who if they laugh at you there is a way they laugh at you do, do you have such kind of people in your life oh my goodness they laugh at you in a way that you you don't you you you, you try to check i see that i'm stupid am i a clown what is the meaning of all this if you live your life like that there are many of those kinds of people around the world you will hate yourself and you will translate that hatred to every other person around you i love myself god knows i love myself I've, I've said it again and again here that philosophy of hanging yourself even if i were not born again it would never happen to hang myself no i'd rather die in a sleep but not to hang myself who buys the rope <laughs> me go to the market and buy a rope to hang myself <laughs> say i choose to be peaceful shout it i choose to be peaceful i, to be peaceful. I make up my mind, up my mind. To, be a of peace. to be a person of peace go home with this mindset and see how you will discomfort a lot of people because for some of you they are waiting for you there is a part of the gist that has been it's like a pie they left it for you they are hoping that you come and they say come and tell us your version of the suffering in nigeria and they say well i I have just one thing to say God is faithful and I say please please let's be real we're also Christians I say this is my reality I mean it I'm, I'm not playing games and then they get angry right people always get angry when you don't conform I once met a woman who was angry said that she's been barren for a number of years and um, this was woman. She said, I went to the hospital. They said I'm okay. They said I'm okay. It's my husband that knows what A and B and C and, and you know I don't want to. He has this whole medical this in and all of that. He's the one. Blah 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 blah. From his father's side, from this and that. And I knew that this woman would not carry a child for a long time with this bad attitude. There, is, the kingdom cannot come because there is no peace. It's an equation. There must be righteousness. There must be peace and there must be joy. When these three cohabit it grants access it's like a spiritual code hallelujah and i looked at the woman i said madam the issue is not to throw blames and say it's your husband two have become one that's what the bible says if he gets money now will you say it's his money or will you say it's our money see that and i encourage and pray with her peace i give unto you i don't know what you are going through right now but let me tell you i don't want to know one thing i know is that your way out must be the way of peace depression will never bring you solution are we together worry and discussing issues with people who cannot help you will not bring you out jesus said john 14 please 27 my peace i give to you my peace i give unto you the bible says one of the names you will be called is the prince of peace not the prince of worry look at jesus on the cross going through the pains of the nail and then he looks at john and says john behold your mother mother behold your son what kind of peace is that a 33 year old man naked on the cross he would have been angry look at Stephen when they were about to stone him he looked into heaven the only guy that did what Jesus did was advocating forgiveness for the people that's a state of peace may God make you a man and a woman of peace I'm telling you in plenty it does not change you in not plenty it does not change you right when people annoy you and instead of you boiling around you just find a song of melody in moments like this i sing out a song i sing out a love song to jesus in moments like this i sing out a song I sing out a song to you. 
the Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. I love you. Some of us are going to be going home. Let me tell you what some of you will meet in your house. Poverty like never before. It's not a prophecy. Some of you, that's, that's the truth. You will go home and they will tell you they've not paid workers for months. And then you can choose to join them in the depression or be an instrument of peace. And say, look, I know that things are not going all right now. But I tell you, a day will come when we will rejoice in this house. They say, where is that day? We are talking of now, now. Some of you, the moment your parents see you, they will be angry because they are thinking of school fees. And you tell them, no, God is faithful. Right? Some of us are going back to our loved ones. And we may not have anything much in our hands to go and bless them at home and we are depressed. It should never be so. You choose peace. Never allow Satan depress you. The Lord put this in my heart to share with us tonight. I'm going to prophesy and bless us for the year. But I want everyone here, those listening outside, let nothing be so serious in this life such as to disrupt your peace. There is a childlikeness you must have if you want to live into this world. Some of us are too matured for God to use us. We are too, we are too bossy. We are too old. We are not childlike enough. I choose to be a child before his presence. I will be a child with my children and my grandchildren. I will still remain a child in his presence. To tremble at his word. Nothing is too serious in life to depress me. Nothing is too serious in life to make me hate people and get depressed all around. No joy, no peace, no. I teach you the art of living. I teach you the way winners live. The key is to hand over everything to God. I'm rounding up. I know you think you are born again, but let me tell you, when worry still kills you, you are not truly born again. There is a part of you that has not been surrendered to him. From beginning to the end, it will always be, always be you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You gave him your joy. You gave him your spiritual life. You gave him your prayer life. But your financial life, you left away from him. And that's where the devil is using to kill you. Because you've not handed it over. We're going to do a handover ceremony. Where you will take every aspect of your life and say, God, I'm tired. If it's based, I, I would, this marriage issue will kill me. This job issue will kill me. This barrenness issue, I hand it over. Listen, he said, come on to me. All ye that are what? Weary and heavy laden. What did he say I will give you? Rest. Do you have it? Do you have that rest, Koinonia? Do you have that rest today? If you have it, it will tell in your life. If you have it, it will tell in your lack of desperation for mundane things. Oh, when will this come? Oh, when will this? No, 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 no. I can't wait for tomorrow. I can wait. I can wait. There is no hurry about it. I can I can wait for tomorrow to come. Ah no. I can't wait for tomorrow. I just can't wait. Why? Why? The only thing I cannot wait for is anything that has to do with the kingdom. Every time I get up on Fridays when I'm around, I, I almost cannot wait for evening because I want to be able to bless the people any other thing that is not direct so winning no i can't be that desperate about it i can wait can you wait for the car to come answer me 
some of you can't wait can you wait for the car to come can you wait for the husband to come can you wait for the wife to come can you wait for the promotion to come all the days of my appointed time i will until my change comes if you force a door to open that god did not open it will open but it will open and kill you oh i choose to wait i choose to wait the bible says he makes all things beautiful not in your time in his time he has the clock right and if you will wait for him he will beautify your life some of you cannot wait to get into ministry that's why you would die like a chicken the first person you prayed for they beat you and say don't come around our house again because god is saying wait he said no my blood is hot calm down calm down I choose to wait I choose to experience that peace there are three prayer points we are going to pray desperately tonight and then I'll prophesy over our lives and we'll be done this is the message that I want us to close coin on with the first prayer point is a prayer point of handover let me explain it and then we'll pray that you get to a point come where you take your life and donate it to God Lord I'm tired of this trouble he said my yoke is easy the one you are carrying is not easy that means it's not of God my yoke is easy and my burden is light will you hand it over to God and say Lord I'm tired of depressing myself this is my conviction I am a complete servant of God if my reputation goes bad he's the one to receive it if God honors me he's still the one to receive it are we together if I lack food to eat and I don't have the energy no soul winning no salvation who pays the price if there's food to eat I make God responsible for my life I play my own part of the deal and I don't I never dabble into his part it's God's part Lord I leave it to you I have done my own part of faithfulness I know you are you are too faithful and then you rest we're going to hand over you know let me tell you how to know the area you've not handed over to God the one you think about all the time the one you are obsessed about and you are almost dying about God is not yet Lord of that area are we are we ready to pray rise up on your feet everyone please I want everybody to pray pray seriously hallelujah lift your voice and cry mention the areas in your life that cause you sorrow and depression and say Lord I hand it over to you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray I hand it over to you oh God I'm tired of killing myself I'm tired of dying slowly it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, oh To a prayer, lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, I lay aside every financial worry. Pray, I lay aside every worry about job. I lay aside every worry about children, every worry about ministry. I choose peace. 
I choose peace. I reject worry. I choose peace. Oh, you make me lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside the still waters. Kabarakato shekete lebo, embro koto poske shekete, shekete le koto stope kete, embro kaba baka prateska na bariara bariara ba. Make sure you're praying. You are the Prince of Peace, and I've received you in my life. I receive your peace. I receive your peace in this wicked world. I receive your peace. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible says, casting all your cares upon him. For what? He cares. That's the second prayer point. Listen, don't think God does not know that life is full of troubles. Are we together? He's called the ancient of days. Don't think he's not aware of your challenges, but he, till, he still tells you, my peace I give to you. The second prayer point is you are going to lay aside every trouble. Bring it before him and say, Lord, this is what is disturbing me. This is that which is troubling me. I, I bring it to your throne. Lift your voice and pray. I bring it before your throne. Oh, I bring it before your throne. I exchange my burden for your burden. I exchange my yoke for your yoke. Your yoke is easy. Your burden is light. Lord, that which I've been carrying is killing me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, listen. The last prayer point is a cry from your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, I lose affection for anything that is not you. I, I can use them, but they will never win my heart. Lift your voice and pray. I lose affection for money. I lose affection. Pray. Pray. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake. I lose affection. Money will never depress me. Pray. I lose affection. That loss for material things. That loss for fame. That loss for power. That loss for accomplishment. I lose it. I break away from 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 it. Everything I've held on to. The last prayer point. Let's add one more. Cost 
the spirit of depression worry anxiety it is of the devil open your mouth and curse it open your mouth and curse it i reject you in my life i reject you in my family i reject you in the name of jesus i reject worry i reject anxiety i reject depression in the name of jesus Reject it. Reject it from your destiny. My God is faithful. My God is faithful. I refuse depression. Nigeria will not make me depressed. The government will not make me depressed. The economy will not make me depressed. The happenings around my life cannot make me depressed. I reject depression. God is faithful. My God is alive. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing, Savior. gentlemen say after me in the name of Jesus I will be a man of peace my home will be your peace I reject depression I reject worry I reject frustration I embrace the peace of God peace above money peace above fame Peace above prestige. Peace above accomplishments. This must be your understanding. You must embrace the peace of God above and beyond every other thing. I want to prophesy to you in closing. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. Help us media. Hosea 12 13. This will be the last service for the year many of us from tomorrow will be traveling you cannot ignore the place of prophecy it says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved listen when Israel cried in Egypt God did not go to them to rescue them. God went to a man and said, are you hearing my people cry? Are we together? God would have gone to Egypt and said, okay, I have come. But God went to a man and left the salvation of the people in the hand of a man. He says, by a man, by a prophet. 
the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt right he says and by a prophet was he Israel preserved listen one of the greatest revelations I've had this year is understanding the operation of the body of Christ the Bible says that the church give us Ephesians chapter 2 please let's just look at that one scripture I'm about to prophesy to you and I need you to have this understanding Ephesians let's look at 19 and 20 19 and 20 quickly please Ephesians 2 19 now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and he said all of you are members of the household of God right 21 okay 20 he says and are built upon what the foundation of the apostles and prophets Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone listen you must understand how God built the body he said the moment you get born again there are two ministries you must encounter if your destiny must arise he says you must encounter these foundational ministries the ministries of the apostles and the prophets it's not about human worship it's how God built the kingdom he said it is built upon this truth foundation there means upon this truth this revelation is called the foundation of the Lord he said nevertheless the foundation of the Lord does what stands sure you can't change it it stands sure so by a prophet every time people cry God never comes to them he comes to them through a man go and read your Bible when there was famine God came to a man there are human beings that God have sent that hold the prayer points of people that carry anointings that can open the destinies of people but the Bible tells us that you have a role to play let's look at that one scripture second Chronicles 2020 20, right your job is to believe second Chronicles 2020 20. he said believe in the Lord your God so you shall be established but it's not enough to just believe in God he said believe in his prophets he didn't say the prophets believe in his prophets so shall he make progress so shall he do well so shall he prosper see this is the formula don't try to create another one you will punish yourself for nothing the church was built on the foundation Every time God hears the cry of a people, he goes to a man and he says, you heard their cry. I thought God will come to Egypt by himself, but he went to Moses. When creation was crying in sin, Jesus had to become a man because they searched and no man was righteous enough. So Jesus became a man even god did not come directly he had to become flesh are you not seeing how it works when the revelation of the of the new testament was to come to the body a man had to be found in the name of apostle paul and he brought that fellowship of the mystery to the body of christ when satan wants to destroy you he will make you believe in god and disrespect his prophets are you seeing that he won't tell you to stop believing in god you say believe in God after all everybody has equal access to God and you will fool yourself and see that you are praying and fasting but nothing is happening when the widow in Zarephath was in trouble God went to a man immediately and said I have commanded you go are you not seeing it when Samaria was in trouble I thought God would have gone to them he never went to the lepers he brought in a man and he said by this time the moment the man spoke 
God looked for lepers. In other words, the tool God will use is not necessary. Let the prophecy just come. He can use anything. An axe head can float back when a stick comes. But it must be at the instruction of the prophet. He said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? If that man threw a stick, nothing would happen. But he did it at the word. Prophecy is powerful. I learned this from God's servant, Bishop David Oyedeko. He has changed the lives of people with prophecy. But it only works to them that believe. You don't receive a prophetic word from a colleague. You don't receive a prophetic word from a friend. I've taught it here. There are individuals that are not pure human beings. Lift your hands. God's ability. God's ability. Is working in me. Is working in me. God's ability. God's ability. Is working in me. Is working in me. Sing one more time. God's ability. Hallelujah. I've shared with you again and again my visions. How that I saw an endless sea of people and they were crying. No food, no water. And I said, who is the cause? And they pointed at me. And I was afraid because some people had chased me to come into that small room where I was hiding. And I made up my mind. I said I was still going to go out and rescue them. If I perish, I perish. The moment I opened the door, I saw a giant and he held my hands and he said, I will walk with you. Brothers and sisters, this is not, it's not about human beings or human boasting. It's about God's spiritual system. Arguing it is foolishness. There are many prisoners today paying the... The foundation of the Lord. And the Bible says that foundation is the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. I want to speak over your life. Listen, the year is not too late for God to finish what he said he would do. Are we together? Oh no, come on. We have at least 20 more days. It doesn't take time. Is it not a prophet of God that said by this time tomorrow? It doesn't take time. Is, is only unto men according to their faith. Don't say it's the end of the year. God does not work with human calendar. He works with his word. The moment the word of God comes, he said, he said, let there be. And there was. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy over your life. Every package that is meant to come into your destiny in this year of the rain that is yet to be delivered I prophesy it into your life right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy it into your life right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy it into your life right now in the name of Jesus every request you have dropped here from January, February, March, April, May, and now it's December, and it looks like God has failed you. Let me prophesy to you that by 31st of December, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you will be holding your testimony. I prophesy to you that by 31st of December, you will be holding your testimony. may not be possible with men but the Bible says with God we are involving God in this talk every level of prosperity you should have entered in this year of the rain and for whatever reason and by any means you have not entered it let this next 20 days 
place of supernatural supplies. Hallelujah. That spirit that destroys men towards the end of the year, that people would have labored. Have you seen obituaries 28 December, 29 December, some even 31st? In the name that is above all names, may a seal of longevity come upon your life. May a seal of longevity come upon your life. I forbid death from coming towards your habitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the frustration you usually face at home there are some of us December times are times of pain poverty this December will be the best you have ever had I prophesy it this December will be the best you have ever had in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has troubled your heart, everything that has brought tears to your life, you cannot even share with people because of the pains I prophesy to you. Tonight, the Prince of Peace is stepping into that situation. I declare unto you the Prince of Peace is stepping into that situation. Every challenge in your health, every sickness, I don't care what it is, that has refused to go this night in the name of Jesus, we challenge it and we command it to live your life forever. We command it to live your life forever. A dimension of favor you did not see from January to November. I decree that you will have it beginning from this night. I prophesy it again beginning from this night. Not tomorrow, this night. May that dimension of favor come over your life in the name of Jesus. Everything you are praying for is restoration. There are people who have lost things and you are trusting God. You are saying, Lord, before the end of the year, let a miracle come. The Bible says they are taking for a prey and none say yet restore. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy restoration for you. I prophesy restoration for you. In a way and a manner that you have not heard. Listen, did you hear the testimony of Pastor Femi and his family? 18 years even if it's one one thousand they are paying you every month at the end of 18 years you will have something to smile enough with if your salary was hundred thousand calculate it times 18 years plus benefit and allowance that kind of restoration in the name that is above all names may it come upon your life tonight i prophesy to you receive that restoration right now The testimony that you need to take home as an evidence that this was the year of the rain for you. The testimony you must hold and tell people, look, this is a symbol of God's faithfulness. I release it upon your hand right now. I release it upon your hand right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you be a burning and a shining light in the name of jesus christ through your hands many will be healed through your hands many will be saved i place an unction of the almighty upon you that as you go back to your various locations and stations you will come back with a harvest of dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ next year for you will be a 
it will be a balance brought forward of everything everything in the years past that have refused to come it will be a balance brought forward for you in the name of Jesus Christ listen it is still the year of the rain are you hearing me it is still the year of the rain and I prophesy to you whatever the rain represents within these few weeks we have to the end of the year may you experience the full revelation of what the rain represents hallelujah any human upon the face of the earth who is holding the key to your blessing the key to your breakthrough in the name that is above all names from the north to the south the east and the west between now and 31st december by prophecy i call them into your life by prophecy i call them into your life in the name of the lord jesus christ samuel told saul he said as you go back you will find out that the donkey that has been missing has been found and then he said you will see three men you will see them holding bread they will give you from the bread whoever is holding what is supposed to be given to you whatever resistance and manipulation from hell is stopping them from releasing it i command that between now and the end of the year it comes into your hands in the name of jesus christ i pray for every family represented here the kind of christmas celebration you have never seen from birth in the name that is above all names may it be experienced this december whatever ties away financial supplies from your families during this festive period so that they celebrate christmas like frustrated people i decree and i prophesy in the name of jesus may it be a different one this time around for those of you who are going to be traveling far and wide we declare that the mystery of the blood goes with you all through in the name of jesus christ in one minute I'd like you to ask everything remaining that you want God to do. Please, in one minute, go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. In one minute, every other thing you are trusting God for. Don't say it can't happen. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, I release my faith. I release my faith. One can chase a thousand. Two can chase 10,000. Open your mouth and place a demand on the faithfulness of God. Lord, I still believe you. Pray. Tell him, I still believe. Today is the 11th of December, but I still believe. It says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come i agree with you that whatever you have declared before god may it become a testimony in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me make an altar call quickly please i like everybody to be around this is our last service i'll make some announcements there are people inside and outside this is the last service you probably were here from january february and every time you hear an altar call like this something resists you from coming out maybe you've never experienced this peace with this prince called jesus or probably there are some of you who have given your hearts to the lord but at one point or the other you found yourself derailing this is our last service let this be the service where you give up on yourself and embrace his majesty i'll count one to five wherever you are i believe that there are still people outside there are still people inside please leave your seats don't wait for anybody to come before you 
make your way to the front right now one i count one to five wherever you are god bless you as you come they are coming there are people coming from inside and outside clear the way for them god bless you god bless you god bless you don't be ashamed this is the last service for the year let it be that at the last koinonia service you made a decision for jesus the next will be again will be 2016 don't enter 2016 on sale god bless you as you come there are some people god is speaking to outside make your way and receive this prince of peace he will change your life forever hallelujah i salute all of you who are coming the prince of peace the prince of peace is all you need in your life and a simple prayer of faith if you are coming please come and join them clear the way for them come and join them god bless you the devil is a liar don't let any devil stop you as i'm talking if the holy spirit is still speaking to you make your way i know time is up but you need to be saved make your way to the front in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the prince of peace listen he will bring beauty and glory out of your life it doesn't matter what you have done men can condemn you but let me tell you something the mercy of god that throne of grace and mercy is always there he will wipe your sins as if it never happened that's the mercy of god i'm going to lead you to a prayer and i want you to pray passionately from your heart you are not reciting a poem praise the lord pray it from your heart you are talking to a real person his name is jesus and as you pray that prayer a miracle will happen to you and you will leave here tonight having the greatest gift any man can have lift your right hand high above your head so that the devil doesn't think you are pretending and say after me lord jesus i believe in you i know you are the son of god and i believe i ask you tonight forgive my sins cleanse me from all unrighteousness I cry for your mercy I'm tired of living my life my own way this night I make up my mind before your people that you are the Lord of my life I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that the power of sin is broken over my life let me pray for you father these hands that are lifted receive them and let this be the beginning of a real encounter in their lives i break the power of sin over your life and every voice that speaks judgment i declare that the throne of mercy silences that voice forever in the name of jesus you stand before his presence as though you never sinned having the righteousness of his dear son jesus christ that's the gift he gives you for believing in him and i supply grace upon you to live the victorious christian life this will not be an emotional decision for you to go back to the flesh from today you rise higher and higher never to go down again in the name of jesus christ i welcome you to the greatest family on earth god's own family in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now there is a lady waving her hands I'd like you to just walk up to her she'll have your details and we'll follow you up from the details so please make sure you supply your details god bless you celebrate them as they go celebrate them koinonia dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny!
the face of development lord grant me the discipline 